Hey everybody, welcome back to the Jewelry Spot. How's everybody doing? Good morning. It is early. I'm an early bird, so I thought I would come on and do a little packaging. Over the weekend, I think I got seven sales. Uh, it's five orders, um, but a couple of people ordered two items. So I'm blessed and thankful for that. And um, I get to, to do my orders. Uh, I think I'm still averaging maybe one a day. Still working on that goal, like yesterday. A total of four or five is not bad. Uh, my goal is 10 a day. So when I get to that 10 consistently every day, that'll be a great day. But the, all the other days are great too because they're learning experiences. I do have a little bit of a new setup, trying to get organized and everything. Um, she kind of is trying to streamline the process so it's easy to find all my materials. Um, I'm gonna try to go, kind of go full force this summer with my business and see where it, where it leads me, where it takes me. So what I've got behind me is like my bins with all my beads and everything and wire. Then I've got uh, drawers here, those colorful drawers, you know, you see at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And so that's something I kind of did to, um, to make a change there. So the title of the video is um, Package With Me. So what I've got is uh, about three things we're gonna package. And one thing I'm gonna create, and that's going to be um, a pair of high bead earrings. So I've got these cute little cats. Somebody bought these pretty cats. And when I saw these, I knew somebody would buy them. So what I've got to do is kind of make sure that I've got everything secure, and then I'm gonna go get, um, hello, Everyday Finance, good morning. Good to see somebody up as early as I am. <laughs> I gotta hit the ground running this summer and, and get my business going. So I'm up, I'm on the job. I'm clocked in. So what I have to do is make sure, you know, my, my tools, that everything is secure because I don't want anything falling off for the customers. So I have my light and I'm gonna make sure I can see everything and everything is um, tight. Nothing's gonna fall off for anybody. And I have something new that I haven't shown on the, um, hello, I think I had someone else join. Thank you so much for joining me. Appreciate it. I'm up early this morning. Happy Memorial Day. Yes, everybody is still in bed asleep. <laughs> I just decided I would get up early because I really want to get things going for the summer. This is, this is really my, my beginning of, uh, you know, a great summer. So. Okay, I, I've made sure that nothing's gonna fall off. It's secure. And um, I got some earring cards. So I'm working on my branding. So what I do is real simple. I attach my earrings to the card and then I will uh, I put the little earrings on the back. You know, it, it makes me feel really professional. Uh, so I got those on Etsy. There are so many other people that create different things on Etsy. And so, you know, we have to support each other. So that person created the earring cards for me. And I'm attaching my little rubber bags. Fingers are slippery. It makes me feel like it's uh, gonna be a, you know, something that uh, it is similar to something that you see at a, a store. They have to have the little earring cards and you know, the name of the company. And so I had to have mine too. Okay, so I just attached the little a little back to it and I've got one more earring back and then I'll show you how I get how I package I even have my little printer where I print my labels and that helps too maybe I have to do a video or I show that process one day but you know after I package everything that would be my next step it would be to to go ahead and um, it would be to print everything. So I got my, my earrings and okay, what I do is put them in a little plastic baggie 
make sure you know they don't get damaged or anything and i guess they're already in the bubble i don't know i think it just just try to use really good uh professional type materials put everything in a, in a mesh bag and i kind of grabbed some things off amazon i had been using a different color um I, I saw these and I thought they looked kind of nice. So it says, thank you for supporting my small business. Uh, and I normally put those on the package like that. I used to have some kind of iridescent ones. But I got some new things I kind of wanted to try out. Then I have thank you cards. So what I would do is like put a note on the back. Um, thank you for, you know, your purchase and enjoy 15% off next time. I like to do that. And then I put everything in my little mailer. And so I got pink mailers. I used to use uh, kind of a turquoise color. I'm just I'm trying to use professional branding, you know, uh, cohesive, make everything look nice and cohesive. And so I would get my label, smack it here. And there's my first package. And so that's the, uh, oh, okay. This person actually ordered two things. So I'll show you the next thing they ordered. They like the metal items. Hello, someone else has joined. Thank you so much. Good morning. I'm just showing how my process, how I do my packaging. I've got a, a little new branding set up going. So I thought I would share. Somebody got these, um, these are also copper. That uh, customer, I think, is a fan of copper earrings. So they're little medallion discs. And I'm gonna make sure again, my, my pliers that everything is secure. And I'm gonna um, package those as well. Make sure uh, that, when I say make sure everything is secure, what I mean is there's a little spot right there and you don't want, you know, you don't want the, your earrings falling apart when you buy something, purchase something. So that's what I'm, what I'm doing with my little pliers. I want to make sure that the, um, the earring will, you know, will stay put together for the customer. Don't want any complaints. I want to be professional and do good work. So trying to make sure that nothing comes loose. Now I am fairly sure that nothing's coming loose with, with the use of those good pliers. Gonna grab another earring card. Uh oh, I'm really proud of those. This is like almost like a business card. It's got, you know, your branding on there. That's something I understand is very important too with Etsy. Cause you know, when you have an Etsy shop, uh, Etsy is the, the large, huge company. And so, you have to try to make yourself stand out with your name and your branding so people will think of you as your own entity. And so that's what I try to do. And so I've got these little earring cards. I really do like those. Um, I can't remember how much. Let's see. They must have been about $15 or so, and I don't remember how many I got. But if it's something, you know, that that works out or seems to... I pick up sales if I see that maybe the branding is, is doing better and I'm getting more sales after the branding. I'm going to have to assume, you know, that's a good move and, and order some more because I don't. I probably got about 50 of those. So this is kind of a business talk. I feel like a business lady today. Okay, so since, since that goes to the same customer, let me reopen that package and put that in here. So she got the little cats and then she also got this and you know I was at the post office the other day um, the post office wow <laughs> those charges they can get high so it's cheaper to when you ship through Etsy you know you save 
20 cents here, 40 cents there, but it adds up. It really does. Um, so yeah, I feel it when I go to the post office because it costs a little bit more. But you know, you have to put those charges in the, with your item. You don't want to, you know, you can't give your, your merchandise away for free. You want to make a profit. So, okay, I've got these in the little baggie. Those go in here with the, with the cats. Okay, and this is going in here with my little coupon code. Now, this is truly one, that's one thing that I'm going to get a sticker for and there's some of my um, branding and you know how I package now. I did one other packaging video, I think last summer, before everything kind of got good. So it'll be interesting to go back and look at that video and kind of match them up. All right, next I've got these. Uh, these are silver plated. Now I'm actually gonna make these. I guess I need to put my, my camera down. These I'm gonna make for this, um, for this customer. I'm gonna make these live and then I'm also gonna package them. So, they're high she bead earrings, they're navy, or going to be navy. And I'm gonna put, um, yeah, I put the camera down so everybody can see what I'm doing. And hopefully that will be, will work out well. All right, forgive me for a sec. Sorry. Could you give me a thumbs up if this looks okay, please? I would appreciate it. Can you see the, the board and everything? Is that good? Okay. Well, these are really kind of simple earrings. Um, I think I saw three or four of these. People like these. And then someone wanted a uh, custom order with the large ones like this. So I made those for her. And those are in the shop as well. So, uh, okay, start with a barrel bead. These are spacer beads. So I start with these. And then I alternate with about five of the high sheet beads. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some of these. All right, I've got five. Then I put another barrel. And then uh, one more set of the um, The high she beads. These are kind of almost like wood. Um, these are not the, the like the vinyl ones. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, these are almost like wood. These are like what the package said was African clay, and so they they remind me of wood. They're very thick, and they kind of look a little more sturdy than the like the vinyl polymer clay beads so I really like those they um think they they kind of stand out a bit so this is the first one you see how easy uh, quick that was to make I love it when people order things that are kind of quick and easy to make and there's the you know there's one this is uh, about this is one a little bit over an inch um if anyone wants to know how large those are just a little over an inch and then, like I said, I have somebody that ordered a pretty big pair. And um, 
Of course, that means more beads. Lots more of these for the, the larger pair. So I'm trying to get organized. You see my little organizer with my little pieces there. <laughs> working on it, I'm working on it. All right, so I've got, need to pull maybe a few of these off the strand. Let's see. One of those beads is super thick, so I'll pull that one off. Okay, that's five, and then the barrel bead. Okay, now I grab this one. And one more set and I'm almost done. Okay, and I'm gonna put the stem back where it was. And there you go. So this is silver plating, like silver plated bead, um, beading wires, but there are many different things online. You know, you can go and get the gold plated, gold plated, gold filled, sterling silver, depends on whatever you, you know, what's ever in your shop. And so there they are. So I think I'm gonna put these in a, Smaller baggy like this. And then those are gonna go in the, um, okay. And I have baggies like that too. I mean the smaller mesh bags. All right. I have to get my sticker. And I'm not gonna write everything out now, but there's my, my card. And I would put everything in here, grab my label, and then I like to go to the post, well, I like to go to a, you know, yeah, the post office or a, um, a mailbox to ship everything. So that's my process. Let me get, Put that thing back up now. <laughs> All right. Hello again. <laughs> that's my process, and that's how I um, package and ship my things. And you got to see a little new branding. I'm kind of proud of that. And so I wanted to come, and um, I'm trying to be more consistent, you know, and uh, have more more videos this summer for sure. And since I had to make some orders, I thought let's do both. Let's do a YouTube video, and and let's package some orders. So thank you for watching, whether you're live or whether you're going to watch later. I appreciate the support. And if you're not a jewel, if you haven't joined the channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Till next time. Bye-bye.